Good morning tribe, how are you doing? It's Tuesday the 11th of July and the time is, if I could just see my thing, is 11.30 in the morning. I've only just started walking. I had a fabulous day yesterday. Just so much rest, so much recovery. I feel really re-energized. I've got about six days worth of food in my backpack. I'm gonna push on to Shenandoah National Park and try and get there in five or six days. But this is just epic as you look around me. Ah, oh. yeah, so this is going to be a good five or six days back in the wilderness, rewilding and just getting back to nature. It's going to be awesome. So come and join me on the journey. This, let me show you. Well, that's where we're heading, up that big old hill right there. P.S. Have you also noticed my nails? Lovely and pink, matches my phone cover and my hand gloves. I'm rocking the pink, hell yeah. Three miles to a full heart knob. I know this is a favourite word for some of you uh, watching the vlogs. <laughs> This is where we're heading. Wilson Creek Shelter 3.4 and then on to Black Horse Gap 5.8. Hey guys, we've got to the second shelter, which is uh, the Wilson Creek Shelter, which is 739.3 miles in. But I'm not going to stop there because that means I've only done 10 miles and realistically I need to about 15. So I'm going to carry on to the next one, which is Boblet's Gap Shelter. Woo! Let's get moving. Time now is the time is 3.50 so I've still got a couple, of, a couple more hours of uh, daylight to make use of so let's make the best use of it. So we've just walked all the way along here Whoop. and we're going to be walking all the way up that way. Pathways have been really good like this so really good walking so yeah hopefully ticking off those miles quite quickly that's the plan anyway. And here we are at Black Horse Gap. Ooh. Do you know what? I try not to say this in every video, but I feel as though I just have to. So look at this view. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's just glorious. Just, oh, the privilege of being out here is incredible. So this is the view of Taylor Mountain, elevation 2,543. The elevation here is 2,340. Oh, oh, that's pretty damn amazing. Oh my goodness. So that was, that was the view we've just come from, which I just showed you. And if we come over this way, you can see another view. And then, what can we spot on the post? Let me take you close. Oh yes, back on the Appalachian Trail. Virginia. What are you doing to my poor little feet? 
having to contend with these rocks. Oh. The Appalachian Trail crisscrosses the Blue Ridge Parkway for 100 miles in Virginia. Further south, it winds through the Great Smoky Mountains, which we've done. The trail usually follows the crest of the Appalachian chain, occasionally descending into scenic valleys. The trail's highest point, 6,643 feet, is at Clinkman's Dome on the North Carolina-Tennessee border, which we've done. Its lowest elevation, 124 feet, occurs at Bear Mountain Crossing in New York, stretching 2,050 miles from Mount <coughs> Katahdin in central Maine to Springer Mountain in northern Georgia. The Appalachian Trail is the longest marked footpath in the world. Begun in 1922, the trail traverses 14 states including 541 miles in Virginia, which we're in at the moment, and more than 200 miles in North Carolina. Hikers who complete the trek visit eight national forests and five national park areas. Oh yeah. And this is the view of Montevale. Woohoo! starting to get a little uh, late now so it's getting too, a little bit colder oh good i can drop off some of my litter we've just passed the third viewing point so now i am on the descent the downhill 2.4 miles to go it is 6 16. i would really like to get there for about seven o'clock but i imagine it'll be about 10 past seven something like that but that's still that's still really really good because then i have an hour to sort my life out unpack everything get into bed and be asleep by 8.30, hikers at midnight, then I can wake up at 6.45 and start walking again tomorrow at 7, but I'll let you know how I get on with my uh, downhill because I'm going to start bashing it out now. Just to give you an idea of the downhill, so very nice, very flat, so very, very manageable and easy walking. Hopefully I won't trip. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hello little one. Don't run away. <laughs> We're still on our downwards directory, directory. You know what I'm trying to say? We're heading this way. I really want to get to the shelter now. Oh, look, look, look. Did you see it? Did you see it? Hey, sweetie. Gorgeous, don't mind us. We're just walking by. Oh. I can see a sign coming up. Let's hope it is the. Can you see it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's what we want. I know it's going to be 0.2, but we made it to shelter. Originally, I did want to go to the Koi Mountain Shelter, but it's another 5.7. I'm just not going to make it today, but that's okay. Do you know what? We made this shelter. It's just before seven o'clock. Let's go down. Let's replenish the, ooh, the water. Let's eat some food and let's start the amazing rest and recovery process. I wonder if anybody else will be there. We'll soon find out. I know it's only 0.2 off the Appalachian Trail, but this is like the sixth switchback already. So I'm already dreading the walk out in the morning. <laughs> and we haven't even got there yet. Oh well, let's keep on walking. Okay, here we go guys. Here is the shelter. Boblet's Gap Shelter. And we also have a bit of trail magic. Have some lemonade on us. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much, the Boblet's. I appreciate it. Cheers. Mmm, that is so good. Delicious. Right guys, I've set my bed up, I've hung my bear bag. It's time to go and visit the spring. And to be honest, it's not looking that promising. So let me show you the water I have to work with. It is this. which to be honest doesn't look that appealing so I think I'm going to filter it but also put a tablet in as well just because it looks a bit 
dodgy and there's no water even at the next shelter so everywhere is dry. Thank goodness for that lemonade. All right guys, I've filled my water up, my bed is made and to be honest, I'm starting to get really tired so I'm gonna make my way to bed soon. I'm just charging my phone at the moment and the time is 8.40, so 10 minutes past my bedtime. Um, thank you so much for watching all my vlogs. I really appreciate all your support. And make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe. Big shout out to Flynn Jones for doing the incredible editing. His links are down below, so please do go like his channel as well. If you'd like to support me on my hike and you want to pay for a night's accommodation, you want to buy me a burger, you want to buy me an ice cream, then please do go check out the links down below. You can become a regular patron and pay a monthly amount, so $2 a month, $5 a month, $10 a month, or you can just do a one-off donation via PayPal, which is also on my website so please do go check out toughgirlchallenges.com to find out more information otherwise come and watch the video tomorrow all right take care i'll speak to you soon lots of love bye